Hi, I'm Andy Walker and I want to give you a very simple tip today on how to paint pictures very quickly and very easily. What we're going to do is we're going to paint in three different layers, letting each one dry in between. We're going to be using watercolours and the first layer we're going to do is to put down a wash of very pale colours. Then when that's dry we're going to put down the second layer of mid-tone colours and let that dry. And finally we're going to come in with the darks and any little bits of detail that we need. Now I'm starting off with a, a photograph and from that I've made a sketch, a little drawing which will act as a, a tonal idea for the painting. I've changed the photograph a little bit and just done this little sketch here which we can work from for the painting. It just shows where the lights and the darks are. It's uh, made it just a little bit more interesting than the original picture. So let's go to the watercolour paper and I'll show you how to paint this picture. Okay, so there's my drawing. And what I want to do now is to put on just a pale wash. I'm going to use just two colours. Um, I've got a, a very pale yellow ochre and a very pale cerulean blue. And I'm not going to let them mix. I just want to put them on where I think uh, the lights and the lights coming from, and where I think the the shade might be a little bit more. So I think we've got quite a bit of sort of light up here at the top. So I'm going to come in with the yellow ochre up to the top of the trees there. This is just going to provide a little bit of a backdrop to the rest of the painting. Okay, I'm going to wash my brush off and pick up some of the cerulean blue, and I'm going to feed that into the rest of the picture really. So we're coming up with, immediately we're coming up with sunlit areas and darker areas. Okay so that's all dried and we're going to come in with some other colours now just to um, bring in some um, mid-tones where the bushes and trees and bits and pieces are and things like that. Now I've, I've um, varied them around a little bit from the original picture because I just wanted to make it a little bit more interesting really. Um, so I'm just going to come in now with some of these things. I've got a green that I've mixed up and we'll put a little bit more of that in on some of these bushes down here. I want to put in one or two other colours as well, lighter colours. I've got a a little bit of a um, burnt sienna here, which I'm just going to, to feed into the side of the house here, just to give that a bit of interest. Just feed that in with a bit of clean water as well, just to blend that down. On there, and I'm going to come in with a, a shadow colour of ultramarine blue and cadmium red over some of the rest of the house here just to give us some shadows and again we'll come in with some darker things again on top of this leaving little areas for the windows and things, just want those to be a little bit lighter put a few little pieces in here Okay, I think that's looking good. I think we'll leave that now and let that dry as well. And that's our second stage done. Okay, now for the last final stage of the painting, I've come in with some really dark greens here that I've mixed up. And I'm going to uh, finish off these trees. And here, let's just mark around the chimney pot, get that looking nice and dark around there, which shows up the chimney pot really well. Again, if you're out sketching, you can do a lot with just one brush and some paper very quickly, get the feel of, a, of the painting.
And just want to add just a few little details, not very much really, you don't need too much, but just a few little details just to finish off the picture. So that was it. It was easy, wasn't it? Have a go at that yourself and see if you can paint a painting in three layers just like that, very quickly and simply. If you're interested in finding out more about my hints and tips, then you can go to the website down below here and sign up for all my freebies. And uh, you can also get discounts on my online courses as well. So I hope you enjoyed this tip. Look out for more of them as I put them up on YouTube. Bye for now.